Welcome back to another video you guys. So today is the day we're going to be bringing the S2000 to get the front bumper trimmed and painted. I'm pretty excited. It's probably going to take about a week or so, so I'm not going to have this car for about a week. But yeah, I'm excited. This is happening quicker than I expected, so it's going to be good. Today what we're going to be doing though is I need to figure out either a way to make it so that I can drive to my painter with the new bumper on, which means I have to get rid, not get rid of, I need to uh, move this, that under panel, which shouldn't be too hard, and then I need to tighten down the bumper currently so that it can make the small 30 minute trip down the highway. It should be okay, I assume. I mean, that opening is going to be there anyways even if i put the bottom lip on so it you know damage wise it would be the same once i get that lift but what i really need to make sure is that the bumper itself stays on the car while i drive it and this way i can just drop off the car as is and not have to worry about putting on the oem bumper <sighs> yeah i'll probably uh move the car out and then uh kind of see what we have to do Okay, so I put the car up this time. Instead of compared to last time, I have to go a little bit further underneath the car. So it seems like I should be able to just remove. Phillips said, bolt there, probably Phillips head. If not, that'll probably be an eight millimeter. So yeah, let's move, remove all this. There we go. Looks like it's actually missing quite a few of them. Yeah. For some reason, I thought it was an eight. And then there's another one over here. Probably gonna fall on me. Okay, cool. And this just pulls up. So I'm gonna have to bring that to Gary. And then we wanna get rid of these because these are flappy too. These seem pretty easy. Just more 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, God, I can't see. Okay, so this is all one piece, which kind of sucks. I was kind of hoping I could take this off. I guess maybe I could remove the, uh, the wheel wall liner. I just have to do that. All right, guys, it's a little bit later in the day. I didn't film everything just because a lot of it was just kind of difficult to film and do at the same time. But anyways, I managed to get the bumper pretty secure on the car without the bottom lip now let me show you what I did and I don't recommend this but essentially these I zip tied to the crash bar right up above of so hopefully it's not gonna flap around or move too much when I drive because that would be bad but I did have to take off the, the lower panels or whatever the under under panels so those are all taken care of the bumper itself is actually on pretty snug I have uh, almost every OEM bolt that works with it uh, back in place, including the two underneath the wheel well. Let's just hope uh, it doesn't fly off or anything. It really shouldn't. Uh, I don't expect it to. But anyways, we are on our way now down to the paint shop guy. Um, I'm getting this done at CBH Auto Body in San Jose. If you guys know of him, awesome. But if you don't, check him out on Instagram. This guy does amazing work. He does body work and, and body repair and painting and everything. So he does a really, really good job. He's the one who painted the, uh, the OEM lip that I had on my OEM bumper and it came out fantastic. I've had it on for like two years. There's been no like cracking or 
you know, peeling or anything like that. So he does some solid work. So I expect the same to be done on the front bumper. Uh, he does really good color matching as well. He, this is not, this will not be the first S2000 that he's worked on. So anyways, let's head on down there and uh, let's get this thing uh, painted and, and trimmed. We are at CBH Auto Body, but he actually works out of Union Auto Body down in San Jose. But my boy Caesar, definitely, if you ever need paint work or stuff, come down and see him. You know, really cool guy, really personable. And he takes care of his customers. So we went over everything on the car. We're just dropping off the car now. At this point, I'm just waiting for my girlfriend to come pick me up. But yeah, car is gonna be uh, in the shop for about two weeks, give or take. So I'm excited. I'm really excited to see what it's going to look like when he's done. He's going to be fixing all the small imperfections on the bumper. It's going to look a lot better once he's done. Uh, he quoted me a great price. So, you know, and you know, like two week turnaround is honestly pretty quick. So with, with all the little additions and making sure the bumper is going to look good, two week turnaround and the paint, can't beat that. And the price, it's good stuff. So I'm excited for all that to be done. But yeah, leaving my baby, but she's in good hands. One last look at her. Bumper's gonna look sick. But yeah guys, hope you guys enjoyed this next vlog and uh, I'll see y'all in the next one.